DIY one. Uh, so I kind of promised you that I would make a video style outfit kind of thing with the pieces that I got from uh, the black milk package that I opened last video. Um, and I've been a bit uh, too busy so I never really got around to it but here we are and now I kind of want to do it. Uh, so welcome to this video. Uh, I'll uh, make some outfits. Uh, that honestly I've already been wearing because it's been so uh, such a long time since we talked together last time. Um, but I have like this Pokemon dress, uh, Pokeball dress from Black Milk, uh, and I have the pants with like the purple thing on it and uh, the red skirt. Uh, that's what I'm gonna be showing off a bit today. Um, honestly, all of this is pretty, like, basic stuff, but I just thought it would be, be fun to kind of show how I chose to style these uh, pieces, because I feel like, um, and you can especially see this if you, like, look up uh, the Black Milk tag on Instagram, or if you look at their website, uh, like, people style this, these pieces so differently, and I honestly love it. Uh, because, yeah, it's just a cool way to st show off uh, how different people see each piece, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, the first one is this uh, Pokeball dress. That last time I didn't really know how I felt about. Um, and that was mainly because of the top part here. Uh, I don't know, I just felt like there was... A little too little of it, <laughs> um, which is why I paired this it up with this uh, white uh, turtleneck long sleeve uh, top underneath, and I think it's really cute. Um, I, I might feel different in like the summer period. Uh, <laughs> would probably be fine with the uh, out anything under like this, or maybe just like a t-shirt under or something, I don't know. Um, but yeah, uh, so I chose to go with this and then I just have like some stockings and my red boots. Ah, you can see, there we go. <laughs> um, and then I just chose a wig and a red bow tie to go with the little bit of red that is in this dress here. Um, and like it gives me a little bit of like a classic girl next door kind of vibe, but not really. But it's kind of that vibe I was going for, and it's honestly really comfy and very like uh, yeah, comfy, warm. Like uh, I like to wear this uh, in like an everyday kind of setting, uh, probably without the wig, but you know. <laughs> I could have gone with like a black turtleneck instead and I felt like that way it might have been looking more like it's one piece, uh, like it's a part of the dress, uh, but honestly that's not really what I was going for. I wanted to make it visible that it was a different piece uh, and also play up a bit of like the white in the Pokeballs, um, so yeah, um, all in all like a pretty simple but cute outfit, I feel like. Can't get my... <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, I'll move on to the next outfit. See ya! Alright, so next outfit is with the red skirt here. Um, that I... like, most of this is kind of in the same realm. I switched the white turtleneck out for a black one. I have the same stockings and same shoes. Uh, yeah, same shoes. <laughs> um, and then of course the skirt and uh, paired it up with this red, uh, what's it called? Hooray? Is that what it's called in English too? I'm not sure. Um, this hat <laughs> I paired it up with as well. Uh, I was kind of going for a little bit of like a Selena Spellman kind of vibe. Uh, 
which is also why I chose the white wig here and uh, to match it up with a bit of like spooky witchy accessory kind of thing. Um, and yeah, like I love this because it's really simple, but I feel like it's very cute. It gives me a bit of like a cosplay, cosplay bounding kind of feel. Uh, but at the same time, it's a pretty simple and cute outfit uh, that has like a little bit of a preppy schoolgirl kind of vibe to it uh, that I think a lot of people can appreciate, even if they're not into the whole uh, Sabrina Spellman franchise. Um, which, honestly, it's a little bit of uh, a problematic uh, franchise. Uh, but I still like it. Uh, it's still a fun series for me, and I grew up with the cartoon and stuff. But yeah, I haven't worn this wig in a while. I should do that some more. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, there's honestly not that uh, much to it. Uh, I like it. <laughs> so I guess uh, with that we are on to uh, our third and uh, last outfit, uh, which is still gonna stay a little bit in the spooky spell fantasy realm, I guess. Um, but we'll see. All right, you guys, last one. Um, so for this, it's the paints that I from Black Monk. Um, they're pretty high waisted uh, and super comfortable. I've actually been wearing these the most out of the three pieces we have here. Um, and honestly, I like to wear it either with just like a black shirt, nothing on, or this like holographic sheen. Uh, over it. Um, I don't know, I, I love this kind of texture, so any excuse uh, to wear it is always nice. I don't know how much the camera can catch on, but probably can kind of get a feel for what it is. Um, and since we're going all like a pink purplish, huh, I just uh, threw on a uh, Terrible wig as well, uh, especially because I don't get to use this quite as much, um, and I love it. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, again, like I have a pretty simple style. I don't like to overdo it as much as I know, because I follow a lot of YouTubers who has like adorable aesthetics uh, or just like badass aesthetics and they very much uh, use like a lot of accessories or a lot of colors or something like that and um, even though I love it I am I just I don't have the stuff uh, for it but I also don't really feel that comfortable in it and uh, this is honestly like a lot for me if you go back like one or two years uh, I was wearing all black every day, so this is like a lot of color uh, for me personally. Um, I also finally switched out the shoes, but it's what can't <laughs> quite reach. Here we go. Um, just some like boots uh, with a little bit of heel on. Uh, I don't know. It's my <laughs> winter boots. I just feel like it's very comfortable. This time of year to go in, um, yeah, it adds a little bit to the attitude of this outfit, I feel. Um, yeah, it's honestly just super comfortable and it has like really big pockets, which is awesome. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I don't really know what else to say about this outfit, honestly. Um, because like the pants are clearly the like wow factor of this, <laughs> uh, but I also like love this uh, type of holographic 
if anyone is like friends with me in real life or follow me on Instagram, you probably know that I'm fangirling about the new <laughs> KDA outfits because they all have this like holographic effect to some of it. Um, and yeah, it's just awesome. I don't know <laughs> what else to say. But yeah, uh, thank you for watching. Um, let me know what you think about uh, like my three outfits here, but also what you think about this type of video. Or uh, I would very much like to hear <laughs> what you have to say. And if you have any ideas for future content, like feel free to message me or write a comment down below or whatever. Um, pro like, dislike, then I'll know uh, whether you like it or not uh, too. And yeah, that's. Kinda it, I guess. Um, thank you guys for sticking around and I hope I'll see you at some point when I make videos again. Um, yeah, bye! <laughs>